Australia's diverse agri-food industry currently exports some $35 billion worth of food and beverage items to the world. It's the next biggest industry export to mining. Now a huge growth opportunity is currently unfolding in Asia. We have a growing middle class armed with a growing discretionary income and they're looking to buy more quality imported goods. Projected demand far exceeding what Australia's agri-food industry could ever hope to supply now or in the future. Now the downside of this story is that the majority of our agri-food exports are so-called bulk commodity products that compete largely on price. But of real concern is the fact that Australia is losing market share in Asia from competing low-cost producers out of places like South America, Africa and China. So, whilst the food and beverage opportunity in Asia has grown by $100 billion in the last seven years, Australia's share of the pie has pretty much remained the same. So Della Rosa is a great example of a family-based Australian company that is quite new to export but having great success on the local Australian market have now, because of the quality of their products, turned a lot of heads in markets like China, Taiwan and now Japan. We are a company who have a lot, of, a lot of potential to develop a product in the region. So we are the first company in the region to provide pieces to China. We really care about our product. We think that gourmet premium product is the only way. But we agree that there is, you know, very much a challenge in developing our brand overseas and we very much like working with our customers, especially, you know, Metro China. We have, we have sat down and, and developed, you know, strategies going forward. So three of the biggest challenges that face our agri-food exporters targeting the premium end of the market include things like offering your products tailored to local consumers' tastes and buying behaviours, investing in innovation practices and R&D to create a real unique selling position and finally, supporting your customers and building a brand with real investment in marketing and promotion. We will be doing many, many sort of in-store demonstrations. We're training up a team there in how to cook our product, how to market our product. In terms of our research development, it's all done in-house, especially with the Chinese. In collaboration with Orlando, who pretty much invested most of his time into the, uh, the Chinese product and was you know, very pivotal in, in its success. Everyone see there's a huge growth in China, and but nobody actually see this. There's also a huge um, opportunity for pizza manufacturer to export to China. Being able to provide that restaurant quality at a retail level, we need those extra sets of hands on the line and to create that point of difference. As Della Rosa have found. It's not just a case of transferring what you sell in Australia to offshore markets. You actually have to tailor your products to suit local tastes and buying behaviours. One of the challenges that we have in China was uh, change the formulation, change the content of uh, salt. Um, our product has become, in China, more sweet. Also, um, we find that our product has become more spicy. Australia's agri-food industry needs to adjust its focus towards the higher value end of the market, the so-called premium slice of the opportunity. So today you have to say, oh, is your pizza like the Italian? Well, I have to say that our pizza today could be better than the Italian.